So the first thing we need to do when making a Ninja Mobile ZX10 carbon dart front upright is choose some proprietary hardware to use. And what we've gone for here is a late model Hyundai Getz rear hub assembly, which is a nice little thing all packaged up in a bearing housing, ready to bolt straight onto an upright. Not, not, not um, the lightest way of doing things, but awfully convenient. And with that goes a Nissan Pintara, late, late 80s Nissan Pintara rear disc, which has had a bit of ta weight taken out of it. And a Suzuki, ah, Suzuki, a Subaru WRX rear brake caliper, which is a lovely aluminium thing, pretty much what you'd be putting on a racing car 10 years ago, but um, 100 bucks on eBay. Beautiful. So we need to measure them up, get all their critical dimensions, and design an upright assembly around them. Now if you've got good eyesight and you look really hard, that's the front upright layout and assembly drawing. And the bearing hub goes on there, there's the brake disc, there's the wheel, the brake caliper goes on here, top wishbone, bottom wishbone and steering arm. So that's how it works. And over here is a, a slice through there which is the brake disc, the little hub assembly and the bit we're going to make, the bit we're going to fabricate. So moving on from there, we need a couple of detailed drawings for bits that are going to be manufactured, such as there's the steel plate that the hub bolts to, and that's the top, and that's the bottom ball post, um, the purpose of which we'll see shortly later. So these are all the bits we need to weld together to make the upright as per the drawing. There's the laser cut flange that the hub bolts to. Bit of three inch by 82 thou chrome body tube. Little lid to go on there to stop it going out of shape. And there's the, the bottom ball post, welds in there and pops on the bottom. Top ball post, similar thing over there. Uh, to mount the brake caliper we make these little units by uh, cutting that out, putting it in between those two things bolted together, knocking it over with a hammer. Do we make that little thing? Quite nice. You weld two of them together, you've got something 10 mil thick which makes it nice and stiff that little bush welds in for the caliper to bolt to. All good. Two of those. And uh, the rest we make as we go along, as you'll see. Now rather than um, just throw all these bits together and weld them up and see where they end up, to make sure they're all in the right place and the same as the drawing, we need a jig, which is this bit of 6mm plate with a number of holes drilled in it as per the drawing where everything bolts in place. And I use these little 20mm by 20mm square steel posts bolted in from underneath. So when that goes on there, and that goes on there, this bit will be trimmed. Where are we? This will be trimmed to fit nicely on there. And it bolts back in, similarly at the top, and these little guys will get popped over there, folded together and trimmed once again to fit down there to that caliper mount, similarly at the top, and some hideous thing constructed to pick up the steering arm up here. And when it's all welded together, we end up with this. One front upright. Quite light. Not super light, but quite light. Um, short bolts here. We need longer bolts here to get past the bits and pieces.
There you have it. it. Sits on the car like that. And when it's all bolted together, we end up with this. It fits. There's your Subaru caliper and the Nissan Pintara disc. Hub assembly in the middle. There's the other side, not so interesting. Fits on the car like that. And away we go.